Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving Cambridge International AS and A level biology paper one multiple choice. October, November 2021, variant 11. Question number one. A student observes a cell using a light microscope. The student then draws the cell. Which item will the student need to calculate the magnification of the drawing? IPS graticule, stage micrometer. The student will need one, two, and four. Hand lens will not be needed. One B. Question number two. Which equations correctly shows the relationship between magnification, image size, and actual size in microscopy? Magnification is equals to image size divided by actual size. This is correct. Number one is correct. Magnification is equals to actual divided by image is wrong. Actual size is equals to image size divided by magnification. This is correct. All right. So one and three correct means option A is correct. Two A. Question number three. In which cell structure does DNA transcription occur? DNA transcription occur in chloroplast, mitochondria, and nucleus. So D. Question number four. Which row could correctly identify the nucleic acid present in two different virus particles in a sample of air. All right. So nucleic acid present. So a virus particle can either have DNA as nucleic acid present or RNA as nucleic acid present. So either DNA, two correct, or RNA. All right. So two and three correct. C is correct. Question number four, C is correct. Question number five. Test on four samples of a mixture of biological molecules give the results shown in the table. Test, boiled with excess Benedict solution, gave blue color. So no non-reducing sugar. No reducing sugar. Boiled with excess Benedict solution after acid hydrolysis and neutralization, red. Non-reducing sugar present. Bired region purple, protein present. Iodine solution yellow, no starch. So this, which biological molecules were in the mixture? So the mixture had non-reducing sugar and protein. C is the correct answer. Question number five, C. One molecule of X is formed by a single condensation reaction releasing one molecule of water. What is the molecule X? The molecule X can be a disaccharide because it releases, when two monosaccharides join together, it releases one water molecule. A phospholipid will release at least two water molecules. A polysaccharide will release many water molecule. And a triglyceride will release at least three. Question number seven. The table shows some information about the carbohydrate polymers. Which row describes glycogen? One for glycosidic bond. Yes, glycogen contains one for glycosidic bond. This is correct. One six glycosidic bond. Glycogen contains one six glycosidic bond. They're branched, they're used for storage. A is the correct answer. Question number eight. The diagram shows four phospholipid molecules. Which molecule could contribute most to the fluidity of the cell surface membrane? All right. Cell surface membrane will be more fluid if there is more number of carbon-carbon double bonds. So A will be wrong. B will be wrong. C will be wrong. D will be the correct answer because it contains the most number of carbon-carbon double bonds. Which properties of phospholipid explain why single layer of phospholipids added to water immediately form bilayer? The hydrophobic fatty acid chains repel water molecules so the tails pack together. The nonpolar fatty acid chains are attracted to each other by hydrophobic interactions. The hydrogen bonds form between the phosphate group and water. So basically, all of these statements are correct. So 9A will be the correct answer. Question number 10. The diagram shows three examples of different bonds. 
which bonds hold the tertiary structure of protein together. We know the tertiary structure of protein together is held together by bond between the R groups. So one and three is correct. So option C, 10, C is correct. Question number 11, which feature of collagen enables it to fulfill a structural role in skin and in tendons? All right, adjacent collagen molecules are linked by ester bond. No, collagen fibers form layers with the fibers in different directions. No, collagen molecules are formed as a triple helix of polypeptide chains. Polypeptide chains of collagen are tightly folded into compact shapes. Skins and enables it to fulfill a structural role. All right, polypeptide chains of collagen. Molecules are tightly folded. They are not folded. So 11C is the correct answer. Question number 12. The graph shows how the concentration of four components, one, two, three, four, of an enzyme catalyzed reaction change with time. Which component is the enzyme substrate complex? Enzyme substrate complex throughout the time remains constant. Concentration remains constant. So four, D will be the correct answer. Question number 13. The table shows Michaelis maintained constant Km for three enzymes. CF, CPF. Which interaction, interpretation of the information is correct? Enzyme C has a Vmax, which is half that of enzyme P. This cannot be correct. Enzyme C will reach Vmax in the shortest time interval. Km value does not dictate Vmax. Enzyme F has the greatest affinity for its substrate. Yes, because it has the smallest Km value, 0 0.000, zeros, and then a five. Yes, definitely C is the correct answer. Question number 13, answer is C. Question number 14, what explains how a signal molecule produced by one cell can be protect, detected by target cells? All right, a signal molecule can bind to any type of cell surface receptor. Well, then it would be detected by any cells. So that's a wrong statement. A signal molecule has a complementary shape, shape to the cell surface receptor. Yes, it does. And to the cell surface receptor of the targeted cell. So signal molecules enter the cell by diffusion. All right, usually it doesn't. Signal molecules enter the cell by endocytosis. Usually it doesn't. Signal molecules does not enter the cell directly. So 14B should be the correct answer. A signal molecule has a complementary shape to the cell surface receptor of the targeted cell. Question number 15. Some enzymes are produced in the cells of the pancreas. Some enzymes are produced in the cells of the pancreas. The enzymes are secreted when required. Which process is used to transport this enzyme out of the cells of the pancreas? Enzymes cannot be released by active transport facilitated diffusion or endocytosis. So exocytosis should be the correct answer. 15D. 16. Plant cells are submerged in a solution with a water potential less negative than that found inside the cells. So let's say this is our plant cell. This is our plant cell and it is submerged in a water solution, which is less negative. So let's say this is 500 minus and this is uh, minus 700. So water will move inside the cell. Okay. Which describes the conditions of the plant cell after 20 minutes. The cells are going to be turgid. 16 D will be the correct answer. Question number 17. What will be present in each chromosome at the end of G2 phase of the cell cycle? So at the end of the G2 phase of the cell cycle, growth two phase of the cell cycle, what will be present in each chromosome? Two centrioles, probably not. Two centromeres, no. Two DNA molecules, two molecules of DNA, yes. Two telomeres, so C should be the correct answer, 17C. There will be two molecules of DNA at the end of G2 phase of the cell cycle. 18, which events listed are part of cell cycle? All right. Interphase is part of cell cycle. Metaphase is part of cell cycle. Cytokinesis is part of cell cycle. So 18A should be the correct answer. 
Question number 19. Which features of an organism are affected by a drug that kills that kills cells that are dividing mitotically? Cell repair, cell cannot be repaired. If one is wrong, then A, B, C, all options are gone. So two, three, four, five only. And 19 answer will be D. 20, the graph shows how the distance between sister chromatids, carf P, and the distance between chromatids and centrioles, carf Q, changes during part of mitosis. Which statement could be correct? T to V represents interface. Well, interface is not such a short time, so one is wrong. So C and A is wrong. T to W represents metaphase. Yes, it could be metaphase. W to X. W to X, it represents anaphase. W to X. All right. Yes, it can represent anaphase. Now, let me explain why this happens. T to W could be metaphase because we can see the distance in micrometer. All right. During this, the you know, distance between the sister chromatids, between the chromatids, or uh, sister chromatids. We can see that there is no increase. We can see that there is no increase. In metaphase, the sister chromatids are together. During anaphase, which is the starting of the W, all right, the sister chromatids, all right, uh, they, you know, carve P, all right, uh, they, their in distance is increasing because they're being pulled apart in two different sides. So two and three should be the correct answer. Option B should be the correct answer. Question number 20, B. 21. Which statement helps to explain why the two sugar phosphate chains in DNA molecules are constant distance apart? All right. So the sugar phosphate chains in the DNA molecule are constant distance apart. The reason what they have given is option A, adenine and thymine held together by the same number of hydrogen bond as cytosine and guanine. This is a wrong statement. Cytosine, cytosine and guanine has three hydrogen bonds. Adenine and thymine has two hydrogen bonds. Each nucleotide molecule is the same size. No, nucleotide molecules can be of different sizes. Each purine base is linked with pyrimidine. That is correct. Every purine is linked with pyrimidine. That's why they may have similar sizes. Sugar phosphate uh, strands of the helix are held together by sulfur bridges. This is a wrong statement. So question number 21, C should be the correct answer. Question number 22. During DNA replication, what must happen before a newly added nucleotide is bonded to the next nucleotide in the strand? Complementary base pairing, hydrogen bond formation, phosphodiester bond. Let's read the question again. During DNA replication, what must happen before a newly added nucleotide is bonded to the next nucleotide in the strand? Yes, there must be a complementary base pairing. One is correct. Hydrogen bond must also form, be, be, you know, due to the complementary base pairing. Phosphodiester bond must also form. Question number 22, all right? You see, before, the, you know, question number 22. During DNA replication, what must happen before a newly added nucleotide is bonded to the next nucleotide in the strand? So complementary base pairing must occur. Hydrogen bonding must occur, but phosphodiester bond formation is not necessary. So B is the correct answer. 22, one and two is the correct answer, so B. 23, an antibiotic S enters bacterial cell through a membrane channel protein P. Some bacterial cells have shown resistance to this antibiotic by acquiring a mutation which alters P. This mutation prevents the entry of the antibiotic into the cell. Which conclusions can be drawn about how resistance to this antibiotic developed in this bacteria? The mutation changed the order of the amino acid in the gene coding for P. Question number two. The mutation results in the production of P with an altered tertiary structure. One and two are correct. The antibiotic is a hydrophobic molecule, so cannot cross the phospholipid bilayer to enter the cell. So you see, hydrophobic molecule can enter the cell. All right. Uh, even, if, uh, even if it is um, the phospholipid bilayer does not have a channel. So one and two uh, should be the correct answer only. Question number 23. An antibiotic enters bacterial cell through a membrane channel protein P. 
some bacterial cells have shown resistance to this antibiotic by acquiring a mutation which alters the P. This mutation prevents the entry of the antibiotic into the cell, which conclusion can be drawn about how resistance to this antibiotic develop in this bacteria. The mutation changed the order of amino acid in the gene coding for P, correct. The mutation resulted in the production of P with an altered tertiary structure. Well, cannot confirm that. All right, the antibiotic is a hydrophobic molecule, so cannot cross the phospholipid bilayer to enter the cell. Well, if it would be hydrophobic molecule, it would be able to cross the phospholipid bilayer. So number three is also wrong. So for question number 23, D is the correct answer. Question number 24, what is the correct tRNA anticodon coding for the amino acid proline? Proline, DNA triplet code on the described strand is GGT. So mRNA will be CCU, CCA, mRNA will be CCA and tRNA will be GGU. So GGU, D is the correct answer. Question number 24, D is the correct answer. Question number 25, the table shows the observation made by a student about three different cell types, P, Q, and R, seen in a transverse section of a plant stem using a light microscope. Ratio of cell wall width to whole cell width, P, one is to 10. Structures observed in cell contents, none. Q, one is to 20. Regular patterns of circle in some cells. R, one is to 20. Granular appearances of all cells. What type of cells are PQR? So the ratio of the cell wall width to the whole cell, and there is nothing observed inside, meaning this is xylem. All right, and then regular patterns of circle in some cells, but one is to 20, all right? So P is xylem vessel element. So for Q, the option is companion cell or phloem sieve tube element. Well, companion cell will have a nucleus, all right? So a regular pattern of circles in some cells. So that will be uh, phloem sieve tube element because it contains some mitochondria. All right, granular appearance of all cells. Well, this will be companion cell. So for question number 25, option D. Question number 26, water molecules are attracted to each other. This, proper, this property is important in the upward movement of water in xylem. Which term is used to describe the attraction of water molecule to each other? Cohesion, 26B is the correct answer. Question number 27, the diagram shows a model to demonstrate mass flow. Concentrated sucrose solution inside Y. Okay, partially permeable membrane. Dilute sucrose solution, partially permeable membrane. Okay, so definitely because uh, uh, there is concentrated sucrose solution in Y, water will enter Y, all right? Because we have, uh, you know, just water outside. The water potential is very high outside. So water will enter Y, all right? Since water will enter Y, and then the water th will cause this particular movement in this direction. Since the water from this particular vessel will decrease in quantity as the water is moving through that direction, water from this direction will then move in. In a plant, what are the structures W, X, Y, Z, and what is the direction of flow of solution along W? Okay, so along W, it will be from Y towards Z, all right? Along W, it will be from Y, direction of flow along W, from Y to Z, Y to Z. All right, from Y, to Z. So B and C is our choice. Uh, w is acting like a phloem. So B is the correct answer. X is acting like the xylem. Z is the root. Y is the leaves. Yes, all matches up. So question number 27, B is the correct answer. Question number 28, the parts of the heart that control 
action are listed. Sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node for kind tissues. Which row is correct for atrial contraction and ventricular contraction? Okay, first of all, atrial contraction. AVN produces waves of excitation. Well, AVN does not produce, SAN produce. Parkine tissue carriers for the wave of uh, waves of excitation, no. For atrial contraction, no. All right, SAN and AVN both produces waves of excitation, no. D is the correct answer. So let's see, SAN produces waves of excitation, parkine tissue for ventricular contraction, parkine tissue carries the waves of excitation, correct. Question number 28, D is the correct answer. Question number 29, the diagram shows part of the circulatory system in mammal. We can see number one, we can see capillary. Then we see venule, then we see, all right, veins, and then leading to vena cava. What? Where is the blood pressure and the speed of blood flow the lowest? Okay. Blood pressure and the speed of lowest blood pressure. Well, in capillaries, the blood pressure is not low because, you know, capillaries is such a small uh, vessel. So blood pressure actually rises as the blood, uh, you know, tries to enter from arterial blood pressure. I mean, it doesn't rise, it, st it stays high as the blood enters from the arteriole to the capillary. So blood pressure shouldn't be low at that particular location. Blood pressure could be low at two or three. All right. Uh, then lowest speed of flow. Lowest speed of flow will, uh, so two and three, let's see. Two and three. All right, lowest speed of flow, then we'll be at three. Question number 29. The diagram shows part of the circulatory system in a mammal. Direction of blood flow. Aorta, then we see here capillary, all right, we see venules, we see veins, and vena cava. Vena cava is already uh, labeled. Okay, where is the blood pressure and the speed of blood flow lowest? So blood pressure will be lowest in vena cava, definitely. Vena cava, the blood pressure will be the lowest. And lowest speed of flow, well, that will be in capillary. Capillary, the blood flow, you know, flows the lowest. So D. Question number 29, D is the correct answer. 30. The photomicrograph shows human blood cells. All right. What type of cell? is X. Well, cell X cannot be a lymphocyte. All right. So because, you know, lymphocytes have large nucleuses. All right. It cannot be a monocyte. It can only be a phagocyte because it has lobed nucleus. C is the correct answer. Question number 30, answer is C. Lobed nucleus, you know, easily identifies phagocyte. Question number 31, the diagram shows some of the reactions of carbon dioxide when it enters the blood from cells in a metabolically active tissue. Which reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase? All right, so carbon dioxide, it reacts with water to produce hydrogen carbonate, but it does not occur outside the red blood cells. So A and B is already wrong, all right? Carbonic anhydrase will cause the carbon dioxide and water to convert into hydrogen carbonate and it is found inside red blood cells. So C will be the correct answer. Question number 31, C. Question number 32, the graph shows the oxygen dissociation curve for hemoglobin in animals that live at high altitude and animals that live at low altitude. What explains the oxygen dissociation curve at high altitude? Hemoglobin has a higher affinity for oxygen. Yes, we can see that hemoglobin is taking up oxygen, you know, in you know, it's reaching 100% saturation within a short partial pressure of oxygen. So that is correct. Hemoglobin releases oxygen more readily? No, it doesn't. The changes in partial pressure of carbon dioxide causes bore shift? No. The decrease in percentage of carbon dioxide causes the curve to shift to the left? No. So question number 32A should be the correct answer. Question number 33, the diagram shows three features found in mammalian gas exchange system. 
goblet cells, ciliated epithelium, and cartilage, all found in X. Which structures of gas exchange system could be represented by X in the diagram? We know bronchiole does not contain cartilage. Small bronchiole does not contain cartilage. Trachea only, all right? We know that trachea and bronchus contains cartilage and ciliated epithelium and goblet cells. So question number 33, the answer should be D. 34, what are the short-term effect of nicotine in the cardiovascular system? Nicotine can cause constriction of small arteries, correct. Increase heart rate, yes. Increase blood pressure, yes. All of them, 34A. Question number 35. Some features of diseases are listed. It can be transmitted by animals to other animals, including humans. So HIV cannot be transmitted from one animal to another animal. All right. Tuberculosis, uh, sorry. Uh, cholera, no, cholera cannot be. One mode of transmission is by transfusion of contaminated blood. All right. Tuberculosis cannot be, uh, you know, transfused by contaminated blood. So... The causative organism can show multiple drug resistance. The majority of the humans who die from the disease are children, definitely malaria. 35C is the correct answer. 36, the following advice was given to a person traveling to a country where there had been an outbreak of an infectious disease. Cook food well and eat it hot. Peel fruit and vegetables. Drink only cool boiled water. Wash hands often with soap and cool boiled water. All right, definitely this is an indicative indication of cholera. Which infectious disease would this advice help to protect against? Cholera. 36A is the answer. 37. Which description of multiple drug resistance in bacteria is correct? Bacteria have DNA with resistant genes for several different types of antibiotic. Yes, this is a correct statement. All right. So A should be the correct answer. 37A. Let's see why the other points are not correct. Different species of bacteria have DNA with resistant genes for one type of antibiotic. So they're not going to get multiple resistance. Large number of one species of bacteria are immune to several types of antibiotic. One species of bacteria, all right? Uh, several different types of antibiotic are immune. It's a wrong statement. Uh, many different species of bacteria are immune to one type of antibiotic. Okay, that doesn't explain why multiple drug resistance will occur. So B, C, D are wrong. 37A is the correct answer. 38, which description of T lymphocyte is correct? They are only found in blood and secret cytokines in response to infection. No, They're, they can be found in other places as well. T lymphocyte, they can uh, leave the blood and accumulate in the site of inflammation. Yes. All right, T lymphocyte can leave the blood and accumulate at the site of inflammation. That is correct. So 38B is the correct answer. 39, where are antibodies found during an immune response? All right, on the surface of memory cells? Yes, you may find it in the blood plasma. Yes, so 39A is the correct answer. Question number 40, monoclonal antibodies are used in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases. They are produced using a technique known as cell fusion, which two structures are fused together in these techniques? Well, we know in a cell fusion for mono producing monoclonal antibodies to make a hybridoma cell, to make a hybridoma cell, we will, uh, you know, uh, fuse together a plasma plus a cancer cell. So, all right, um, antigens and hybridomas, no. T lymphocytes and cancer cells, no. Cancer cells and plasma cells, yes. 40C is the correct answer. Guys, today we have finished Winter 21 QP11 for biology, AS biology. Uh, guys, we will be solving videos like this regularly. If you want any of your uh, suggestion to be given, all right, uh, please uh, mention us in the comment. And uh, if you want uh, any of uh, your papers that you want that is related to chemistry and biology to be solved, please like our channel, subscribe to our channel and write it in our comment. Definitely we'll solve it for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.